Hey, Simon here. Today we want to have a look on this effect. What is this? It's basically a gradient, just standard gradient, but uh, I mask out one color, uh, color value at a time, which means that we see only one, two, three, two, 255 over time. And then we get this nice uh, animation. And um, when I started, I had the base idea to say, <coughs> uh, take a if node, say, okay, if for example, the value is exactly 0 0.5, then give me a one color value. And if the value is not exactly like this, then give me a zero, put it in here. And what we can see now is that we see sometimes a white spot here, a white line, but it gets, it doesn't look as beautiful as before. And the reason for this is um, there are floating point numbers coming in, like for example, uh, uh, zero dot uh, three, uh, four, three, four, three, four, whatever. And if you ask for exactly, for example, um, zero dot three, if these c values change here behind, then you don't hit the spot. You, it's just not equal. So what you can do is, let's have a look on, on the floating point number. In this case, it's the time. What you can do is, <coughs> Uh, to remove that last part. Since there is no wound function in Unreal, or at least I didn't find it, what I did was I take the fraction, which is that you only get the uh, part behind the comma, and I subtract this from the base value, which looks like that. Um, you see here some numbers, but they don't, they don't create any problems. What we get now is basically a comparable integer number. And with that, we can work. So um, a note, these values which come out here uh, start from zero and go to one and not 255. But we want to change that. We want to multiply it by 255 so that we have some uh, numbers right in front of the comma. And now we can take the fraction of this, subtract it, and um, like so, put it in here and now ask for example 128 um, and put it in here. And now we get this really nice clear line or let's ask for like 64, no problem at all. And if we want to have this animation, what you have to do is you take uh, your time and in this case we only want to get the, um, the, f the fraction part which looks like this now and this we multiply with uh, 255 now do the subtract here and put this in here so like that and this creates um, this effect and um, it can be beautiful and useful if you have, for example, several geometries in one mesh and um, these geometries have different vertex colors. Um, for example, one has zero, one has uh, 64, one has 128 and one has 255. And if you want to show uh, only one geometry of that mesh it's it's one mesh right but you only want to show one of these geometries at a time and then change it for some animation purpose i don't know then you can mask out the color values with that technique yeah basically that's it uh, i know it's kind of special but maybe it helps you and um, yeah uh, let me know what you think maybe you have even better solutions for that so um yeah let me know uh, and have a nice day